Hi friends, the big day is here, the mains of IBPSPO. So how are you feeling? Fearful? Nervous? Some butterflies in the stomach? Some anxiety? Some excitement probably? Is it? Is it how it feels like? It's all normal. If you tell me that not feeling anything like that, I would say you are probably not serious about the paper. So if you are serious about it, you have studied, uh, you are actually looking forward to taking the exam then all these are natural feelings. Relax, calm down, doesn't make a difference. All this is natural. As long as these feelings do not take control of you, it's fine. Have that nervous energy, it's fine. It's a big occasion, it's a big day, that's all okay. I'm here to tell you three things today, three small things. Three very small things that will probably help you when you take tomorrow's exam. Thing number one, it's about the paper. This is, this is about the paper. It's not one test that, that you're going to take tomorrow. It's five tests, fine. So this is five tests. Think of it like that. Why do I say that? It's a pretty longish test, three and a half hours. You, you are aware. So it's like a test match spread over five days. This is spread over five tests. So when you think of a, you know, a longish Herculean five section test, it tends to get a little heavy on us. It's, it's a uh, very tough exam. Just think of it as five different tests. So it's okay. Just think of it like that. Break that up into smaller targets. Chhote chhote targets hai. Quant clear karna hai, reasoning karna hai, GK karna hai, and like that, right? First, think of it like that. Number two, this carries 225 marks. You are aware? 200 objective and then 25 of descriptive. What is the cutoff generally like? Though this should not be you know, uh, giving us any idea of what the cutoff this year should be like, but yeah, generally it's in the same range, 80, 85, 90, 100, not more than that, out of 225. So this paper for you does not carry 225 marks. Why am I saying that? I'll explain. This is of 100 marks, say 100 marks. And what I want you to get here is nothing much. What I'll expect from you would be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So let's not play a 20, 20, let's play a 2020 2020 20 20 20 20 you know you can get a 25 in reasoning I'll say no I'm done obviously you will not do that but what I'm saying is that when you look at so for example reasoning 45 questions fine 60 minutes 60 marks a longish section and then you look at a puzzle that carries 10 marks and you'll feel this will take me 25 minutes and you'll leave it probably number how does it make a difference? What did I say? 20 marks. Is this 10 going to help you reach that 20? Is it? Yes, definitely. A DI set, 8 marks. Is it going to help you reach that 20? Yes. It will be a major contributor. 8 out of 20 is 40 percent, right? But when you look at 8 out of 60, it will feel like, can I give it this much time? They sakta hon kya? De sakte hain. No, this paper is different in the sense that it carries a lot of marks, especially in quant and reasoning, DI and reasoning, and they give you very little, very miserly. Both conjuicy se number milte hai, and the paper is quite tough. That has been the trend over the years. What do you change? You change the mindset here. You cannot change the paper. We just think of this paper as carrying a weight of like 25 marks, 27 marks, 30 marks. You just do that 20, 25, 18, whatever, and you're done. So what would you do? I'm just giving an example of a section. You can just, you know, uh, use it in all the sections then. So, for example, you talk about quant and DI. You've got 60 marks, 35 questions, fine. What you need to do is just very quickly in the initial 2-3 minutes, zero in on the 20, 25, 30 marks worth of questions that you will attempt in the next 40 minutes. You get the point? First, try to figure out according to your competence level in the subject, according to your experience, your practice and everything, kya karna hai mere ko iske andar. Bas wohi 20 marks. maas. Baki ignore kar do. Kam se kam agle aadhe ghande ke liye ignore kar do. It doesn't exist. No, and those tough sets that start playing games in your mind, hota nahi hai, dekha, dar gaye. Arre, kya set hai, dar gaye. And the dar wo carry karte hain. Even when you go to the next set, who carry nahi karna hai. Chhod diya. This doesn't exist. So, for me, the paper just is of 25 marks. 35 marks ka jo kachra tha hata diya, side kar diya. It will still there, you know, dikhega, hata diya, the marks hata diya. 25 marks, can I get this 25? I'll try. Can I get a 20? 
प्रॉबेबली फिफ्टीन ये तो पक्का आएगा प्रॉबेबली एटीन प्रॉबली ट्वेंटी टू हु नोज समझ में आया यू हैव टू डू इट फॉर ऑल द सेक्शंस फाइन कम से कम क्वांट और रीजनिंग में ज़रूर करना है एंड देन यू वुड सडनली रियलाइज दैट नो इट्स नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट इट इज़ मैनेजेबल इट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट एल कॉल इट डिफिकल्ट इफ द चैलेंज फर्स्ट टू गेट अ टू हंड्रेड और टू ट्वेंटी फाइव अ टू टेन अ वन एटी वॉट इज द चैलेंज हेयर जनरली आई मीन आई डोंट नो आई मीन इट्स नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड चेंज थोड़ा बहुत ऊपर नीचे हो सकता है बट द चैलेंज इज टू गेट अ हंड्रेड एल बी ए वंडरफुल स्कोर बढ़िया स्कोर होगा ना तो क्या करना है इतना ही करना है और ये सब ना ये सब दिमाग में होता है सो जस्ट जस्ट टेल योर सेल्फ इतना ज़्यादा नहीं स्कोर करना है पेपर माइट भी टफ बट वट डू आई नीड टू स्कोर जस्ट दिस मच ट्वेंटी 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 दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल ठीक है दो नंबर कम आ जाएंगे सेवनटीन फिफ्टीन वॉट एवर यू वुड स्टिल क्लियर द कट ऑफ आई टेल यू जॉब अरे क्या करना है आपको यू जस्ट हैव टू आउट स्कोर द कॉम्पिटिशन जो आपके बराबर में बच्चे बैठे हुए हैं ना उनसे ज़्यादा नंबर लेकर आने दस जेट द जॉब इज डन पेपर को अपने ऊपर हावी नहीं होने देना है यू नॉट हैव टू लेट द पेपर द क्वेश्चन कंट्रोल यू नो यू कंट्रोल इट एंड देन आई एम टेलिंग यू यूल डू इनफ टू क्रैक द एग्जाम डू इट इन ऑल द सेक्शन इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट वन लास्ट थिंग वेन इट कम्स टू द पेपर दिस इज वन मिस्टेक दैट पीपल मेक इन डिस्क्रिप्टिव अगैन डू नॉट लीव इट सेमी कुक्ड वेन कंप्लीट इट सो टारगेट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट मिनट्स डू नॉट टारगेट थर्टी मिनट्स The worst mistake that you can make in descriptive is leave whatever you are doing incomplete. आखिर का पार्ट छोड़ दिया. No. And you know basic things like correct spellings, correct punctuation, capitalization, all those things. Take care of that. Uh, this is going to help. No flowery language, no fancy language. Simple sentences, simple basic sim- sentences, correct English, and this would be it. With obviously decent content should be doing the job for you. जो नहीं आता है उसको छोड़ दो इग्नोर करो जो आता है उसको ठीक से करो बस उतना ही करना है काम हो जाएगा दिस वॉज थिंग नंबर वन इट्स रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग नंबर टू नाउ दिस इज अबाउट अ रीसेंट न्यूज चार पांच दिन पहले यू आर वेयर सो देर वॉज दिस नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम आई बी पी एस अबाउट सब सेक्शन सो दीज आर फाइव टेस्ट आई टोल्ड यू इन दीज यूल हैव इन थ्री ऑफ दीज सेक्शन क्वान्ट रीजनिंग इन इंग्लिश सब सेक्शन सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी कुछ भी नहीं है बहुत ही सिंपल सा नोटिफिकेशन है दे आर सेइंग दैट अर्लियर सो फॉर एग्जांपल रीजनिंग अर्लियर इट यूज्ड टू बी 45 फाइव क्वेश्चन सम क्वेश्चन कैरीड वन मार्क्स एंड सम क्वेश्चन कैरीड टू मार्क्स हियर आल्सो इट विल बी लाइक दैट नो देर इज जस्ट वन कैवियट हियर वी आर अज्यूमिंग दैट इट वुड बी लाइक सेक्शन ए एंड सेक्शन बी सेक्शन ए वुड बी आइदर वन मार्कर्स और टू मार्कर्स एंड देन सेक्शन अदर सेक्शन सेक्शन बी वुड बी दैट अदर मार्क्स वेटेज नो इट शुड बी लाइक दैट बट it's not written anywhere so it might happen it might happen just keep this in mind you know keep yourself open read the instructions that section a has got one marks two marks section b also has got one marks two marks so something like this if it happens should not stump you you get the point what do you have to do am i trying to predict anything no i'm just saying read the instructions what you know beforehand is that these three sections quant reasoning english would be divided into sub sections I don't think there is a problem of movement between the subsections. So you can go from section A to section B, section B to section A. So practically, it's the same thing. They would probably just divide it into one markers and two markers separately. Nothing beyond that. I don't think it's going to make a difference. But still, read it carefully. Since I'm talking about one markers and two markers, another thing: don't have this notion in your mind that one markers are easier and two markers are tougher. Generally, it's expected. Yes, and generally it happens. But I have seen exceptions. in the test series and in the real exam so it is not just about your subject knowledge it's about how smart you are fine right? so don't just leave a question because it's two marker and you believe you are not good at the subject don't just do all the one markers on the other hand do not be that somebody who thinks oh i'm good at the subject i'll just attempt the two markers no what is the target target is to maximize the score so pick the two markers that you think you can do pick the one markers that you think you can do look at not the number of questions but the number of marks fine so when you look at a puzzle that carries four marks just two questions it's not two questions it's four marks you would prefer it over a similar difficulty level puzzle that carries three marks and it's just three questions you get the point look at marks don't just say when you come to the examination hall i did 22 questions no i do not want to hear that what would you say i did 27 marks i did 32 marks you get the point you're smart educated people you can understand that when so you do not have to talk in terms of number of questions talk in terms of number of marks 
quant i read 28 marks i read 18 marks i read 23 marks so just decide like that subsections and all just forget it it's nothing just read the instructions carefully and keep this in mind that it's not written anywhere that one section would be one markers another one two markers it can be mixed so we don't know we don't know we'll not assume anything we'll read the instructions and we'll follow the directions the way it looks the most probable one looks like the first subsection A would have two markers and B would have one marker. This is just an assumption. I believe this is going to be the pattern, but this is just a conjecture. Assumption based on what happened in the clerk exams and the past history and all, right? But keep yourself open, look at that, whatever is written over there, and then decide the course to move forward. But this is not going to change your fortune. I'm telling you, if you're prepared, this is not going to make your performance worsen. If you're not prepared, this is not going to make a performance better. You get the point. Doesn't make a difference. It is okay. Just leave that. No difference between this thing. It's a small change and nothing will happen. No cut-off will happen from it. So if you're thinking that there might be separate cut-offs for section A and section B, I don't think it, 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 it's going to be there. In any case, you'll have to look at everything and try and maximize the score. So what is the key then? Maximizing the individual scores. Uh, all five tests. One, two, three, four, five. Right? and maximizing the overall score section a section b you do not have to maximize so if you believe section b looks like it's more productive fine for you whatever the marks everything focus on section b in a particular test it doesn't make a difference don't think i have to get some marks here and some marks there it's written like uh, both the sections are compulsory all questions compulsory it just means there is no choice marks would be um, counted for everything it doesn't mean you have to do everything you get the point so just forget it, it should not give you any tension, right? So this is about the test. The third thing, now this is probably the most important thing of this small session. And I'll show you something for it. I mean, at times, you know, the pictures speak uh, much, much louder than words. So just look at this image. So what's this? All of you are aware, this is a crisp 2000 rupee note. Ekdam naya sa dikhne wala, kadak sa 2000 rupee ka note. So I'm not going to show you what you're going to earn after you get your job. The message is something else. But first look at this one. It's got a catchy feeling. It's got a catchy feeling. It's got Almost the same. Almost similar. But yeah, a little crumpled probably. Thoda sa used hai. Or kisi na isko thoda sa thoda ma road sa diya hai. But still good enough, no? Thik dikh raha hai, achcha dikh raha hai. And uh, there is absolutely no problem with that. Probably not as good looking as the first one. But still will do the job. Thoda sa thak gaya hai bichara. And I'll show you a third one. Tweet this one now. You guys are like that. But if you look at this, even this is fine. This is fine in the sense that it's not torn or anything. It's not torn or anything. It is like that. It looks like that. It looks like that. It It looks like that. feels good looking at the currency, isn't it? So what is the message? What do you want to Tino note, pehle wale ka look acha tha, dusre wale ka thoda kharaab tha aur tisre wale ka zada kharaab tha. Aur unki value mein koi fark hai kya? Do they carry different values? Would you give 2100 rupees for the first note? No, unless it's your brother's marriage, aapko udane udane hai. Nahi doge na? Us tarike se tisre wale ke liye 1900 le loge kya? Nahi. Sabki value barabar hai. Ek dam barabar hai. Tino barabar hai. Kya hai? Pehla wala kam used hai, dusre wala thoda zada used hai, tisre wala thoda sa zada thak gaya hai. Ab isme आपको एक analogy दूंगा, just listen to it really carefully, इसको देखो, ये कैसा है, what is it like, it is like those aspirants who are fresh, excited, एकदम जोश से भरे हुए, फोड़ दूंगा, एकदम नया नया जोश है, बढ़िया तैयारी करिए, एकदम like this कड़क नोट, इस बार तो मेरा दिन है, ये वैसा है, ये जो है ना, ये पता है क्या है, एक दो साल fail वेल हो गए, अच्छा था, हमारा भी time था, but अभी time थोड़ा सा खराब चल रहा है नहीं निकले एग्जाम सो आई कुड नॉट डू इट एंड नाउ इट इज लाइक आई एम देयर या 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 वेरी मच देयर बट आई डोंट लुक दैट गुड नाउ आई डोंट फील दैट ग्रेट बट माय सिचुएशन इज लाइक दैट बट वैल्यू देखो उसकी कम नहीं हुई है अभी भी ये तीसरे वाले को देखो यार ये बेचारे वो लोग हैं प्रॉब्ली जो नो बिन सींग फेलियर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम चार पाँच साल से परेशान है कुछ बन नहीं रहा है और हालत अभी ऐसी हो गई है हो सकता है ना ऐसा इस तरीके से बात समझ में आई और आई एम ट्राइंग टू कन्वे सो पीपल हु हैव सीन फेलियर यू नो बीन देयर डूइंग दैट फॉर सम टाइम सीन मल्टीपल सेटबैक्स फेलियर्स एंड 
स्टिल प्रिपेयर डूइंग वेल बट अंदर से वो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आता लगता है हम पुराने नोट की तरह हैं आप ये भूल जाते हो कि सबकी वैल्यू बराबर है कल कौन अच्छा करने वाला है हु एवर डज द बेस्ट अमंग द लॉट वुड बी द वंस हु वुड गेट थ्रू इट डजेंट मेक अ डिफरेंस यू मस्ट हैव सीन फेलियर इन पास इट्स ओके इस एम्बडी एल्स हु इज़ डूइंग बेटर इन द मॉक टेस्ट हु इज़ फ्रेश एकदम एक्साइटेड है जोश से भरा हुआ है सुपर कॉन्फिडेंट डजेंट मेक अ डिफरेंस वॉट मैटर्स वुड बी दोज थ्री एंड हाफ आवर्स टू मोरो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सबकी वैल्यू एक है वो जो आखिरी वाला नोट था ना जो बहुत खराब था उसे सीधा कर दो प्रेस कर दो एंड रन गवर्नर ने लिखा हुआ है आई प्रोमिस टू पे द बेयर अ सम ऑफ टू थाउजेंड रुपीज़ तीनों पे एक ही बात लिखी हुई है आप भी सारे एक से हो ये जो आपके अंदर घुस गया है ना मैं लायक नहीं हूँ मैं कर नहीं सकता कहाँ होगा चार साल से नहीं हुआ तो नहीं होगा क्या हुआ यार एक नोट था रखा है आपके पर्स में नहीं यूज़ हुआ चार साल तो कल नहीं हो सकता क्या सोच के देखो बहुत कम हुई उसकी नहीं हुई आपकी भी नहीं हुई और कोई नहीं पूछेगा दस साल के बाद में कोई भी नहीं पूछेगा कितने अटैम्प्ट लगे थे पूछेगा क्या बताओ कौन पूछेगा हो गया काम यू गेट द पॉइंट समझ में है कई बार ना वो पिक्चर्स का एनॉलॉजी से वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर वी टेन टू ऐसा लगने लग जाता है हमें कि हम बेकार हैं वर्थलेस हैं नहीं हो रहा है नहीं हो पाएगा आई एम नॉट गुड इनफ अपने को बताओ दैट यू आर देयर इट इज़ जस्ट दैट इन दस हाइपर कंपेरेटिव वर्ल्ड बहुत ही पॉपुलर कंट्री हमारा हो जाता है यार ऐसा लॉस्ट इट हो गया अभी भी हो सकता है तो क्या इफ़ यू आर गुड इफ़ यू आर वर्किंग हार्ड इफ़ यू आर बींग ऑनेस्ट टू योर सेल्फ इफ़ यू वैल्यू दिस इफ़ यू वॉन्ट डू दिस फॉर यू फॉर योर योर सेल्फ फॉर योर पेरेंट्स फॉर योर फैमिली करना है तो हो जाएगा यार मेहनत करिए बर्बाद थोड़ी जाती है किसी की नहीं देखी मैंने बर्बाद जाती बस क्या होता है बताए किसी को अभी मिला किसी को कल मिला किसी को परसों मिला इट इज़ जस्ट दैट कौन लूज करता है पता है सिर्फ एक जो छोड़ देता है इफ़ यू लूज इट इफ़ यू लीव इट चले जाओ क्विट कर दो देन देर इज़ नो चांस बट अगर आप यहाँ हो यहाँ तक पहुँचे हो यू टेकिंग दैट एग्जाम टुमारो आज कोई रीज़न नहीं है मेरे पास कुछ भी नेगेटिव सोचने का इट्स गोइंग टू बी माई डे मेरा दिन होगा कल फोड़ दूंगा <laughs> अब बस बहुत हो गया अगले साल नहीं देना बस कल ख़त्म करना है चलो ख़त्म कर दो <laughs>